Hey, what's up, guys? We are here with a Mezco 112 Batman. This is the Ascending Knight Batman. I do believe they are going to make one, two, three different types of Batmans. This being the first one with Ascending. I do believe the next one is Sovereign Knight Batman. And the third one yet to be uh, announced and or revealed. So, let's get to this one. Uh, typical box. He's not inside. He's out for us to display and to show off okay so picture of him various poses they've come up with uh seven interchangeable hands display stand with uh armature i will show you that because there's something different about that uh 10 batarangs and then one heavy assault bat brick which i think is kind of weird um and then some more accessories which we will go over okay box out of the way here's the base typical bat symbol Put that down. Here is the Batman. Ascending Night Batman. All right, we'll have him in the background. All right, let's go over those accessories that we saw in the back of the box. So first things first, let's get his head out of the way. Great looking head, if you ask me. Um, very atypical um, Bruce Wayne looking head. They do give their own look on a sculpt. I think that this is a very well done sculpt of Bruce Wayne. Um, I think it works. I think it works really well, actually. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of fleck in his hair, which I think is nice. The eyes look great. Skin tone. Uh, I haven't tried it on the body yet, so let's take a look at that. Pointy. Oh, wow. This cow is very pointy. Stab me. Okay, so um, there's a face of the cowed head. All right, so we'll put that over here next to him. That's one thing I always wish that some company would do. And hey, Mezco, you actually do watch my videos. Um, you should make a Batman head that you can actually just have without the face, like as if it was just sitting on a display. Like when he's looking at his bat suit, you don't see his mouth and his eyes. It's just basically like an empty cow. That would be a really cool accessory to have that you can like mount on the body. So like if he's walking past a whole bunch of his bat suits, you have this empty head, like maybe like a mannequin head. Maybe that would work. Like just like a blank uh, thing that fills in the cowl. Just a thought. Looks great with uh, with the uh, the head on the body. Okay, let's go over the rest of the accessories. Uh, here's the bat brick, which I think is kind of weird. I don't know if this showed up in a comic. I love Batman, but I'm not a super fan, so I don't read his comics as often as probably others do. Um, I have never seen the Bat Brick before, but it looks kind of silly. Um, here are the tiny, 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 tiny. You get 10 of these little guys. And I mean, these are tiny Batarangs. Miniature. Um, but they're in scale with his hands and with the, with the person. So, yeah, this is how big a Batarang would be in the hands of this uh, figure. So that makes sense. Uh, t -t 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 we have this wrist, uh, I guess you would call it a mini crossbow. It's got a little handle, so you, you slide it over one of the hands. T -t 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 so probably this hand. So uh, let's go over the hands and then we can, we'll try that later. Okay, so we'll try that later. Uh, the last accessory we get is the uh, grappling gun, which is, I do believe I love this part. This is a grappling gun. And with the grappling gun, we get three different um, attachments. So it has a hole in the front. And the first attachment is the closed grappling gun. Let's get this on here. So you can have it closed. Looks awesome. So you know how Batman usually has this without it. So it comes off and like he puts it on there and he loads it on. So this is what I would call the loading effect. Next you have it where it springs open. Effect. And then last but not least, they give us, which I'm gonna undo mine because this is a review and we review things. This third piece is actually has a little bit of pl little plug and a rope. 
and you can actually have it where it's firing. So there's the, the actual tow line. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll go more into that in a minute or two. So let's see, what do we get? We got hands. It says you got the two fist hands on there and you get a pair of open, open hands. You also get a grappling gun hand. And the reason I call that grappling gun hand is because one finger is pointed out a little bit further, almost like a trigger finger. So when you do the grappling gun, which is odd, they only give you one, they give you other one, no, they, yeah, one grappling gun hand. So they made him right-handed, which I do believe Batman is right-handed, so he's probably ambidextrous, now that I think about it. Okay, so grappling gun hand, check. And then you have these semi-open hands, left and right, which I do believe would be where you would put the batarang, which I'm sure they probably would be a pain to, but you can do it. Pain to put in there. You probably also fit in between the fingers as well. If you wanted to have it more of a throwing. Okay, so there you go. All those hands and uh, oh right, the hmm. Okay, so this is the the crossbow. And now we need a hand to put it in. So we go like so. Nope, that's closed at the bottom. So I would assume close at the bottom, close at the bottom, open hand, open hand. Maybe the same as the, uh, yeah. So you use the same hand which I think that's not too great, but what can you do? So it looks like with the hands, you use the grappling gun hand and the crossbow hand for the same accessory. So. All right. So you take that and you do that. And you get him with a little mini back crossbow. Which I'm not too thrilled with that. I'm not too thrilled with the mini crossbow. The cro it looks cool in general. But that and the heavy duty batarang, I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of. The grappling gun I am. The accessories for a grappling gun. And the batarang, all uh, winners. Also on the back of Batman. We'll get into Batman in a minute. Uh, on the back you can store his grappling gun. Also an added plus. It sits right there in the back. Very cool. Okay. I don't think anything else put them. Alright, so let's go over the man, the Batman. Okay. So let's go over what's plastic and what's fabric. Um bat symbol on the chest is plastic. Uh utility belt, obviously plastic. Uh wrist and cuff are both plastic. Same with the boots. The boot is all plastic, so are the feet. Everything else is fabric. Oh, the cowl. This piece here is plastic, which I think is a very smart, uh, smart call for Mezco to give him more like this armored, protect the neck look um, right here. Good transition between plastic and fabric there. It really uh, works well. Um, so overall, great looking figure. I love the style of it. Uh, very reminiscent of the first appearance of Batman uh, with the gloves. I'm not too much of a fan of it, but I understand why they did it. The first appearance of Batman, he was pretty much just wearing a pair of gloves. So that's why he doesn't really have the arm gauntlets. Um, I grew up in the 90s. Well, I really got into Batman more when the Michael Keaton Batman came out. So the more armored look is more what I'm used to or what I enjoy. So the, the more gauntlet style... Uh, Arms are more my taste, but I see how this works for this one. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, typical Mezco, you got the double-jointed knees, double-jointed elbows, ab crunch. Um, you can get him in some great um, poses as well. Now, I saw that the Sovereign Knight comes with um, two heads as well, but the second head is a battle-damaged uh, cow. 
So this might be the only way you get a Bruce Wayne head as of right now. So that makes it more imperative if you want a Bruce Wayne head that matches to get this one. Uh, the cape itself, and this is what I was getting to earlier about the um, armature. The cape itself doesn't have an armature in it. Typically, or in the past, Mezco has put an armature inside that makes you have the ability to um, pose the cape. So, with that in mind, they didn't do that with this one. This one's very um, flowing, so it can just drape, which also gives a nice effect for, for Batman. Batman does do a lot of draping of his of his cape. Um, they also gave you an armature, which I've never used, but I will show it to you guys so that you know that what you get in your package. Let me get this other stuff out of the way. We don't want to lose the batarang. Get that back here, and I'll grab the bottom tray. Now, normally I don't show off the bottom tray because it's usually the same. Um, so the bottom tray, you get the armature. You get this piece here. This plugs into, you take the uh, foot peg out, and you plug that into it, and you get these pieces here. Now these pieces here, these plugs here, plug into that right there, and then these pieces over here clip on to the cape. So there's just a bunch of uh, clips so that you can pose the cape and have it more like if he's flying down or if he's jumping. Um, I don't know if that's a great idea. I have never used them, but they're there. I just want to show them to you guys just in case you're like, well, the cape seems kind of like blah. But there are ways for you to actually make it like like come out like this. Armature-wise, you're going to see it. Um, I personally just like Batman with the, with the cape just draped over a bit. So there you go, guys. Great looking Batman. Remember, they are probably doing, uh, they are definitely doing Sovereign Knight. So you'll probably pre-order him if you missed out on this guy. If you really want the Batman, uh, the Bruce Wayne head, this might be your only chance to get one. So keep that in mind. If you're not really a fan of this uh, suit, there are other suits out there and there will be one more. Also, they are doing a, a Batman Beyond if you're into that. Um, so overall, great looking Batman figure. Is it a must get? If you have, if you're on the fence with it, just wait. Get the other, one. get the one, get the Sovereign, get the one after that. If you really love the Bruce Wayne head, if you love the accessories, if you you're just down with this, then yeah, go out and get this guy. So it's really one of those things where it's like 50 50. If you're kind of on the fence, check out the other ones. If you love this one, you probably already have it, or you want to get it. So uh, there you go, guys. Uh, fantastic figure all around. Uh, a couple of the accessories I'm so so on, but. You know, come on, how many times do you use all the accessories that they give you? They give you the options, they give you the accessories so you can pick and choose which ones are your favorites. It's good. So, uh, the only thing I wish that Mesco would do, if, last thought, is if they would give you something to put all these accessories on, like maybe a, a armor rack or, you know, they, if you've ever seen any Hot Toys that have like an armory type of thing, that'd be a great way for Mesco to uh, give us an ability to display all of our wonderful toys that they give us. Uh, okay, guys, so that's it, and I'm out. See ya.